Ezekiel 37 verse 1 to 14 says, The hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out in the spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones, and he led me around among them, and behold, there were very many on the surface of the valley, and behold, they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy over these bones, and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will cause flesh to come upon you and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a sound, and behold, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to its bone. And I looked, and behold, there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood on their feet, an exceedingly great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried up, and our hope is lost. We are indeed cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will open your graves and raise you from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and raise you from your graves, O my people. And I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live. And I will place you in your own land, that you shall know that I am the Lord. I have spoken and I will do it, declares the Lord. In this valley of dry bones, there was no life, there was no movement, there was no breath, no hope, and no light. Now you may be in a similar place, you may be in a valley, in a difficult place where you look around, there's no hope, there's no life. And I'm talking about a place whereby there may not be a physical death, but you find that there is no joy within your soul. There is no life within your home. There is no life to your dreams and ambitions, or there is no hope for you to be freed from whatever it is that oppresses you. I want you to learn these lessons from Ezekiel's vision of the dry bones. There is nothing impossible with God. Where your situation may look to be over, God can speak life. Where your home seems to be filled with no joy, God can speak life and warmth into your home. Where your marriage seems to be over and the relationship is cold, God can speak life and love back into that home. Whatever your situation is, Whatever your valley may look like, remember that nothing is impossible with God. He is a God who restores. Let us pray. Lord God Almighty, you are a God of restoration. You are a God who brings that which is dead back to life. In your word, there is resurrection power. In your word, there is power, power to restore, to revive and rejuvenate. I pray that you would restore joy in our hearts, restore peace in our minds. 
I pray that you would bring a revival in my heart, King Jesus. Give me a hunger and a desperation to seek after you. Rejuvenate my heart with a holy fire. Father, I praise you for being a limitless God who can work even in our worst situations. I pray that you would revive any dry bones in my life. Your word says in Hebrews 10 verse 23, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. I praise you, Lord Jesus, because in you we have hope. We have hope because you are a miracle worker. And so my prayer is that you would help me. Help me to stand in faith even if I am in the middle of a valley of dry bones. Help me to realize that you can raise any army from dry bones. Help me to understand that your power is not restricted in any way, even where there looks to be no life. Your power is not diminished by any circumstance that we face. Lord Jesus, help me to understand that it's not over until you say so. And so, Father, I place my trust and hope in you because your word says in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength they will soar on wings like eagles they will run and not grow weary they will walk and not be faint Lord Jesus when it looks like we are stuck in a valley that has no life when it looks as though we're trapped in a cycle of despair I pray that you would speak life into our situation. May your word be the source of life for us. May your presence be found in abundance because where you are, there is light and no darkness. There is life and no death, joy and no despair. Your word in Psalms chapter 33 verse 22 says, let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us even as we hope in you. May your steadfast love reign over our lives. May it fill our lives. Romans 5 verse 5 says, And hope does not put us to shame, but God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. As I place my hope in your promises, Lord, I am assured, I am confident that you will never disappoint me. You are ever so reliable, Lord. I am encouraged in my spirit because you are a good and faithful God. You are merciful and you are just. You are a loving God and kind God, the ultimate provider, a way maker, a deliverer, and a healer. I bless your holy name. And I thank you for hearing my prayer, Lord Jesus. Be glorified now and forevermore. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.